Some of my favorite plants this time of year are grasses because they're starting to show their blooms. I'm with Carol from Out in the Garden Nursery in Malala. And Carol, what a great selection for all of us to put new plants in our garden this time of year. So what do you have for us? Well, I've got a big variety, some are blooming, some are not. We'll start here at the, um, this nice contrasting group right here. These are a couple miscanthus. These are actually the same age. This one's going to be a very tight, calmer plant, slowly, slowly to four to five feet. This one, once you get it in the ground, it's going to shoot up and get six to seven feet. Ah, so depending if you have a little garden right. or you want it in a container, exactly. really two different nice kind of Very textures. Very different uses, yes. And what else? This is a pretty one. Look at all the burgundy this time of year. This is a really wonderful panicum. This is ruby ribbons. Pretty. Um, it colors up earlier than a lot of the other panicums. It has a little broader um, blade, so you see it a little better. Some of the other ones are much finer. It will bloom later on. has a really delicate little airy red flower, but it's very lovely. Again, it's a little calmer, but it's only going to be about four feet, so it fits in most any garden, and it's semi drought tolerant. Ah, nice. And look at this one. The foliage is really kind of low, but look at these flowers shooting up. Yeah, this is a stepia gigantea, nice. as you can tell, the tall flowers. They have been blooming for at least two months. The flowers wow. hold for a very, very long time. The foliage is mostly evergreen, so it's got some year-round interest, and the flowers will hold through fall. Ah, and speaking of flowers, this one's pretty. They're like little fluffy ones. Yeah, these are two of my favorites. So this is Penicetum Carly Rose, and this is Penicetum Oriental. This is actually the parent to Carly Rose, and it's a cross, makes it a little taller. Carly Rose, you can see, is a little darker. It's going to be about three feet tall, two and a half feet wide, and the Oriental is about two feet tall and two feet wide. Nice. And they bloom from June till frost. Oh, nice. And then this is another tall one, which is really stately. Yeah, this is actually Calamagrasis. This is Carl Forster, and then I have an Overdam here in the front, which is a variegated. There are two of my, well, the, the whole group, Carl, the Calamagrasis, are my favorite. They're a cool season grass versus most of these are a warm season grass. So they come up very, very, very early in the year. They bloom in May, but their flowers hold beautifully mm -hmm. all year around. I have a big hedge of them. They're when I beautiful. have to cut them back at some point in the winter, I miss them because even in February, they look amazing. And they do look nice in a mass. Yes. I mean, they really make a statement yes. and all that motion mm -hmm. is just really pretty and in your garden. Easy. And easy, easy, yes. And then this one is so cool. What unusual flowers? This is Blonde Ambition. It's a um, prairie native. It's just a lovely grass. Again, it's been blooming for about a month. It will bloom all fall, all through the fall. It's actually extremely tough and drought tolerant once it gets established. It's about a two, two and a half foot grower. It's a very, very lovely plant. It's a must have. And I know we're talking about blooms and people must think we're crazy, but they're all kind of so different mm -hmm. and they give a different idea and different kind of motion mm -hmm. and um, structure to the garden because this is another cool this one. This is another one. This is Penicetum spathifolium. And it's one, we love this in our garden. The foliage um, stays about a foot, well, about a foot and a half tall, but it has these tall flowers and the motion on them is lovely. They start blooming in June, they'll hold through fall. We have a favorite spot in the garden that we sit at a table and have lunch <laughs> and we can see these and we always comment about how beautiful these are in the wind. Oh, very cool. And now another kind of tall one yeah, here. This is a Molina. The Molinas are a really overlooked group of grasses. There's short ones and tall ones. There's a really nice variegated small one that most people are familiar with. This is one of the tall taller ones. This thing is tough. We <laughs> planted it in the garden a couple years ago. Last summer, zero water. It looked beautiful. Whoa. The flowers come out quite early. They hold a long time. They're not as showy as some of the other grasses, but they're just so nice. They're just a really nice addition, again, especially for that motion and a little different texture. And it's tough. That's great. It's very tough. And this little guy's really cute. This is another color. penicetum. Yeah, this is another one with nice color. It will end up with nice fluffy blooms in August, September. But this is this one is called burgundy bunny so it's a dwarf one mm -hmm. but it gets this beautiful burgundy foliage quite early in the season and that will actually get stronger throughout the season nice and so you know now for something completely different wine in the garden what's this this weekend we have our fifth annual wine and cheese in the garden we'll have three different wineries several different food vendors um, we have artisan cheese coming and then we have ray gordon who's a local blues singer who's amazing mm -hmm. And we have a dancing horse. Oh, the dancing horse. And that's happening on Sunday. Sunday from noon to five. Ah, uh, Well, if you haven't been out to out in the garden this season, you have to come out. Look at this great selection of ornamental grasses. I think she has the biggest selection I've seen this season. And come out and look at grasses, but have some nice wine, nice cheese. Look at all the art and just really enjoy this nursery. It's a beautiful place to be on a Sunday afternoon. Thanks so much, Carol. You're welcome. Thanks for coming, Judy.